Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Tuesday. Oh, it's a beautiful day, beautiful day here in the 757. Uh, we're going to get up into the upper 60s today, almost 70. Oh my goodness, God has been so good to us in this area. When you look at other parts uh, of our country, deep in snow and tornadoes and flood. See, we just got to tell the Lord, thank you, thank you, because this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. Wow, this is the last day of February, the last day of our Black History Month celebration, and I want to share my um, Black History Month nugget, the last one, and it's inspired by Dr. Mae Jemison. My nugget is believe it and you will fly. Believe it and you will fly. Uh, Dr. Mae Jemison uh, was the first female African-American astronaut. Our first female African-American astronaut. And, you know, I just saw some pictures of her recently. You know, she's 66 right now, looking really good, looking really good. But, but I was inspired by a quote of hers. She said, never be limited by other people's imagination. Never limit others because of your own limited imagination. You know, it's bad enough when you're limited. But then when you um, spread your, you know, unbelief to somebody else, you know, that's even worse. But I like what she said, never be limited by other people's imagination, what they think you can or cannot do. And then never limit others because of your own limited imagination. You know, Jesus put it like this. In Mark 9 23 he says if thou canst believe all things are possible if you believe he was talking to a father whose son was demon possessed and son was hurting himself and everything and um, you know Jesus asked him do you believe this he says because all things are possible that I can help your son and then the father replied, I believe, but help my unbelief. You know, a lot of us are limited because of our belief. But if we believe, as Jesus said, if we don't limit uh, ourselves because of our unbelief, all things are possible. He said it. If thou canst believe, not a little bit, not a few things, but all things are possible if you believe. Despite the discrimination, despite anything that might be pressing against you, all things are possible. You know, um, Mae Jemison's story is, is very interesting. Um, her mother was an elementary school teacher. Her father was a maintenance supervisor. But she always, she wanted to study science. She graduated from high school at the age of 16. And in the meantime, you know, she saw all the uh, Apollo missions uh, when they were going to um, space. And she was kind of upset because she never saw any women. She never saw any females. But you know what inspired her? or who inspired her was um, the African-American actress Nichelle Nichols. She played Lieutenant Uhura in the Star Trek um, series. And you know, we always talk about how important that we see people that look like us succeed. And that's very important. We want to get to the point that one day we won't have to say that so much. The first this, the first that. Um, but until that time, we need to celebrate because those images 
can really affect us and encourage us as we go forth. Now, you know, Lieutenant Uhura, she was a fictional character in the program Star Trek. But Mae Jemison, she, she, she watched her. And in, things, in her mind, it was possible to go in space just like Lieutenant Uhura did. Um, so from that point, she was determined to go into space. Well, when she went to school, uh, she was the only African-American in her class. She got her bachelor's degree. She got a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering and a bachelor's degree in African-American studies. She was interested in learning about her history and her background. So she got a bachelor's of arts in African and American studies. Then she went on to medical school at Cornell and she also studied in Cuba as part of her studies with Cornell, Cuba and Cambodia. And she went on to practice general medicine. So she was a medical doctor. But then, and, and she was also fluent I heard her story is just so interesting. She was fluent in Russian, Japanese, and Swahili. She served in the Peace Corps. But then again, she saw the first female astronaut go to space, which was Sally Ride. And so that really influenced her. Now, there was a female, and she was determined that she wanted to be part of the NASA space program. So she applied uh, to the program, and she was one of 15 out of over 2,000 applicants that got to go up on, she went on her first mission in 1989, because there was a little break in there, because after the Challenger explosion, uh, when the teacher went up with them in different ones, they took a little break, but then, after that died down, they started the program again, and, and Dr. Mae Jemison got on that next mission in 1989, and she became the first African-American female to go into space. So she truly knew what this meant when she said never be limited by other people's imagination because Lieutenant Uhura and Star Trek, that was even someone's imagination to even, um, you know, come up with the show Star Trek. But that's like she said, never be limited by other people's imagination. Never limit others because of your own limited imagination. Thank you, Dr. Mae Jemison as we end up um, these nuggets for uh, Black History Month. It's all about believing it. Believe it and you will fly. The song says, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Take my wings and fly away. That's how I want to end this Black History Month. Believe it, and you will fly. All right, all right, all right. Just a reminder, join me this evening for Church School Live. We're getting ready to go into a series of lessons leading up to our celebration of Resurrection Sunday. The quarter is called Jesus Calls Us. And in the next series of lessons, we're going to look at some of the most unlikely people that Jesus calls. Tonight, we're going to start with the prodigal son. Oh my goodness. I know a lot of us know the story of the prodigal son, but there are some things that God is going to reveal in, his, in this lesson tonight that is going to make you think even about yourself. All of us have been prodigal sons or daughters, but in even in death, Jesus 
has waited for us to come back. Oh, I don't want to get too far into it, but join me tonight, Church School Live. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gym Nugget so you can see me on track Monday through Friday. Join me on Thursday night for church, I mean Tuesday night for Church School Live. Join my husband Thursday night for Life Study and of course, Worship on Sunday. Now this coming Sunday, you'll be able to see um, the Soul Food Sunday uh, program that was on last week. So we're just so excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about what God, I'm excited about how God has brought us as a people, but we still have a distance to go. So you be blessed. Don't forget, believe it and you will fly. You be blessed. Bye-bye.